of this program is the same name that's printed on the cassette in my chest. That's logical, isn't it? As usual, only press my buttons after I say the word now. And please also follow my instructions very, very carefully. Before we begin, I would just like to remind you to have fun. That's right. Remember, it's important to learn, but it's also important to have fun. As you know, I am 2XL, your friendly neighborhood robot. In this program, I choose questions from some of my favorite topics, including incredible creatures, amazing facts, children's characters, fairy tales, and dinosaurs. If you get all the questions right in each topic, I will give you two funny jokes as a reward. Remember when I used to give you jokes for free? Well, forget it. In this program, you have to earn your jokes. For this program, you will need a pencil or a crayon and a piece of paper. If you have them, just wait. If you do not, then please turn me off and go get them. Either turn me off or just wait now. Thanks. By the way, did you hear about the cannibal kid that got expelled from school? He got caught buttering up the teacher. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was not supposed to give you jokes unless you earned them. I apologize. Let's get going. Questions 1 through 5 will be on the topic of incredible creatures. And remember, if you get all five of these questions correct, you get two funny jokes as a reward. Question number one. What makes a Mexican jumping bean jump? Here are four choices. One, it's a hyperactive bean. Two, there's a tiny moth inside trying to get out. Three, there's no such thing as a real Mexican jumping bean. Or four, it's trying to get to Mexico. Please press one of my cute little buttons now. <laughs> this is a very good answer if you are trying to be a comedian. You are wrong. It's not a good answer, just a funny one. Mexican jumping beans are not trying to get to Mexico. But listen, and I will explain. You see, inside... A Mexican jumping bean is a tiny moth lava that is trying to get out and also trying to stay out of the sun. So it jumps around looking for a shade to cool down and eventually to get out. Question number two. Tree kangaroos live in New Guinea. What can tree kangaroos do that almost no other animal on earth can do? Here are three choices. A. Eat elephants. B. Fly like birds. Or C. Jump down from the tippy top of tall trees to the forest floor. Please press A, B, or C now. <coughs> if I was the principal of your school, I would put you right into college. You are right. These tree kangaroos can jump down from six floors high to the forest floor for food. Question number three. If you think everything I'm about to say is so, then press yes. If it's not so, press no. All people have two legs. Most animals have four legs. And all insects have six legs. If you think this is so, press yes. If not, press no. Press yes or no now. <laughs> Oh, too bad. You are wrong. But this was a tough question. Believe it or not, all people do have two legs. Most animals do have four legs. And all insects have six legs. Things that do not have six legs, like centipedes, are technically not insects. Hold on for a moment while I check my memory banks. Do nothing. My memory banks are informing me that you got question number one right question number two, right? But missed question number three. 
I just wanted to wish you good luck. Good luck on question number four. We, of course, are still working in the category called Incredible Creatures. Okay, here's question four, as promised. As you know, camels are good animals to bring on the desert. But what creature on earth never, ever drinks? Here are three choices. A, a pickled horse. B, a black rhinoceros. Or C, a kangaroo rat. Please press A, B, or C now. Let me give you some personal advice. In your entire life, with all the questions that teachers and parents and adults ask you, pickled horses will probably never, ever be the right answer. In other words, you are wrong. Question number five. This question will be the last question in this category of incredible creatures. Here's your question. Which of these does a butterfly use to taste with? Here are two choices. One, the mouth. Or two, the feet. Please pick up your finger and press one or two now. If I was the child and you were the robot, I would have guessed mouth also. But guess what? I would be wrong, as you are. Butterflies taste with their feet. Hold on for a moment while I check those memory banks. Do nothing. <laughs> My memory banks are informing me that you have not gotten all five of my questions on Incredible Creatures Correct, and therefore you have not earned those two funny jokes. I am sorry. Let me ask you this. Even though you're not doing all that well, are you enjoying this program? Please press yes or no now. That's too bad. I am sorry. I now need a favor. On that piece of paper you have, write down the word the. T-H-E. Write down the word the. Okay. I will now change the topic to the topic of amazing facts. I will also give you five questions on this topic. And as usual, if you get all five of these questions right, you will earn two funny jokes. Question number...